back here on the Sprout Ridge site. It's Tuesday, 9 a.m. We've got a very full day ahead of us. Not only is Biggs here trying to do some masking, but on top of that, Jeremiah has moved in. This is going to be our last trip back in here. We're going to spread some of this dirt that we're hauling in from a different site. So this is just going to be a base dirt that'll give a good foundation for landscaping. This is kind of our final doctor everything up, I guess, if you will. So we're going to get the green gable finished mast off and get out of here to make room for Jeremiah and his crew to come out here and lay out the dirt. Looks like the first dump load of sand is here. We're going to get that dumped on the ground. Dustin's going to get started moving product. So we're going to put some of the dirt around the deck here, bring the elevation up so that we don't have to have a handrail on the back part of the house. We're also going to put some dirt around the septic system so that we can blend that in around the lids and cover that up. So we're going to start with two trucks coming in and we're gonna see if our skid steer operator, Dustin, can keep up with that. So while he gets that process rolling, I see the cabinets are being delivered. Let's go inside and see what's happening there. Cabinets are here, they just got delivered. We've got boxes everywhere, and this is a huge step in the process. Every stage of the process of a custom home is exciting, but this is when things really start to get beautiful inside. Huntwood is here unpacking the cabinet boxes. The goal for today is to get every big box unpacked, all the main cabinet boxes put in the rooms that they're gonna go into, and then start getting those installed. So when we're designing a cabinet package, we put together a 3D elevation and an overall plan for the entire home that shows every piece and where each one of them goes. Dawn, our site super, is there to help distribute those and help the installers know exactly what piece goes in what room and put the whole package together for them. So this customer, for her whole entire cabinet package, has selected a raised panel door in a knotty alder wood. As you're looking at it, you really get your eye draws to the knots in the wood and the character of it, and it's just a really beautiful finish that gives a high-end look to her home. As the installers are working, they have a lot of little detail work that they need to do to get these main boxes in place and have them function well. So one of the things that they're doing in certain places is we actually need some buildup underneath the cabinet so that they're at the right elevation so the flooring is seamless with the bottom of the cabinet. From there, when we're ready for the crown and the base and all of those little scribe moldings to be installed that totally finish the edges of everything, Huntwood will make another trip back out and complete all of those details to finish the product. While the cabinet installers keep unpacking and beginning their assembly, let's go check in with Dustin outside and see how the site work's coming along. e &H started hauling in some sand, and Dustin's gonna start moving it. That'll cap all the rock in the areas that we're gonna have lawn, and then after that, we'll bring in three-quarter crushed rock where that can get compacted for anywhere we're gonna have driveway, asphalt paving, or concrete being poured. Well, Dustin finishes this project off in the back and along the sides. Let's go around front and check on Biggs and their painting project. The white paint that we're going to be using is Sherwin-Williams Super Paint. It's a satin gloss. West Highland White is the name of the color. We're going to be putting it on the fascia, the windows today, in the front of the house. The white looks extremely good with the rookwood green being there. The green tone versus the white tone, it's going to make the entire house pop, be pleasant to the eye. My partner, Dean Anderson, is going to be up there at the top of the peak, staining the wood detail up at the front where the top of peak of the gable is. You'll see that they'll hand paint all the areas that are just too small to use the sprayer on. And so they're going to go ahead and get that process done, and that'll really give this house some pop. I'm really stoked to see the progress that happened today. Big's painting just knocked another one out of the park. The exterior looks awesome. On top of that, Dustin got his stuff all knocked out today. Exterior looks like it's ready for the next stage. So I'm excited to see what's gonna happen inside with cabinetry as well.
We're back on the Sparrow Ridge site today. It's Wednesday, 9 a.m., and we're gonna check in and see how these cabinets are coming along. Huntwood has nailed it. They have almost got the entire kitchen installed, and from there, they're gonna start moving into the laundry room where there's a whole mud room set up. This team of installers is measuring, cutting, and installing as they go, so they're working as a team. One guy's measuring, calling out to the cut guy what he needs, the cut guy's cutting the exact piece of whatever the material is, and then the installer is coming behind and installing it. And the precision of the team is super important because they only have one chance to make it right, and they always do. And off we go. These installers are installing all over the house at the same time. They've got people installing toe kick, gluing and screwing those pieces in. They've got people installing fillers to fill that gap between the main boxes and the walls. Inside the laundry room slash mud room in this home, she's got a whole stackable setup where we've created custom cabinetry around it to enclose the washer dryer, her sink next to it, and then a pantry cabinet and cabinets to the ceiling. The gap at the top that you see is actually left for the crown that will be installed when they come back and install all the molding and the crown to trim out the entire package. On the other side of that laundry room, there's a mud room set up. So she's got a bench with some built-in coat hooks and cabinetry above that's open. So her mud room laundry room is not only super functional, but it's beautiful. It's been a great day so far. The wall cabinetry in the kitchen is all in, and now it's time to set the island. On the island, we've got not only a sink, but we've got a dishwasher and we've got some electrical that needs to be brought into these cabinets. And so everything's been laid out on the floor in the exact location that the rough-in was. Now the cabinet installers have to make their cabinets fit right around what we've roughed in. This is a pretty precise task and he's gotta get those cuts exactly right. And what do you know, when he sets it on the ground, it fits perfectly. This island in particular has side panels that are a finished end panel. So the panel itself is made to match the doors of her cabinetry. On the back, we've got an eight foot long finished end panel with four different sections, and that has to all enclose those functional cabinet boxes inside. Not only does this island have finished end panels, it also has corners that are a custom column that are being installed to cap the ends. These have to be cut at the perfect height so that everything is flat and smooth on the top of the box of the cabinet because the decking and the countertop that's gonna come on top really need for that to be perfect. These columns that are on the island actually match the master bathroom, which has columns and some custom feet on it, which give it this beautiful detail and a lot of elegance for the master suite. While the island is finishing up, we're virtually almost ready for the countertops to be lasered out. Huntwood has done a fantastic job. It's gonna be absolutely beautiful and the customer's gonna be in love with it. They've got just a few more details and they're wrapping it up. But tomorrow, we get a garage door. We're back on site, it's Thursday, 10 a.m. Garage slab that's turned in concrete installed for us is just beautiful, looks great, it's cured out and ready for foot traffic. So today, we're gonna to install ourselves a garage door. Fairly impressive to see Nation Serb show up and install a garage door. They literally put in a garage door in two or three hours tops. It's quite the thing to see. In the process of installing a garage door, there's a few components that go in. The doors themselves show up in panels. They'll get all those panels organized, top through bottom. Once they get those organized and ready to go in, the next thing that happens, they'll start installing the track on a pre-installed frame that we've built into the framing of the garage wall. That'll all get installed. Its mounting brackets and bracing will all get installed. Then the door will go in place. And once the door panels are in place, then they all get connected together with the hinges. Those hinges get all mounted on the doors and lined up and ready for the door to operate properly. And then they install the torsion spring. And what the torsion spring does is it really takes the weight off of the door. They're heavy enough that once they're all put together, you couldn't pick that up by yourself as well as the garage door motor, it doesn't have enough power to really drive the garage door. So the torsion spring, what it does is it takes the weight 
of the door and allows the spring to assist with that weight up and down. Our garage door installer's got his track up, custom fit all of his pieces. Torsion spring is up and tightened and ready to go. Garage door motor is in, balanced. Sensors are installed. Switch is wired. Flooring people have moved in. It's been acclimated. We're starting to install it, but that's a story for next time.